Hello, Oilers fans. Austin here with the post-game recap of the Young Stars competition between the Oilers and the Calgary Flames tonight. The Calgary Flames Young Stars come out on top with a 3-1 victory. And if you're an Oilers fan that was looking forward to seeing some excitement from their current Young Stars, some of the more highly touted players like Matt Savoy, well, we're probably a little bit disappointed right now. They have one goal in two games. However, there is some good news. Speaking of Savoy, I thought he played a much better game. He was much more noticeable. I found his speed. He was utilizing it well. He was getting into good scoring chances. I thought he had a really good game for Edmonton. So let's discuss the rest of it, shall we? First period, Vincent Desjardins draws in for Braden Baum up front for Edmonton and Pierre-Olivier Roy drew in on D for Rice Peterson. Of course, most of the defensemen that the Oilers have in the Young Stars tournament this year are camp invites. These are not drafted players. And uh, you can kind of tell when you're watching the games. The Oilers are really struggling with puck breakouts. And that was the same story tonight, just like it was last night against the Canucks. However, I felt Edmonton was a little bit solid, uh, more solid defensively tonight, at least on limiting those like high danger, like rush chances. However, they still bled a few good looks and Calgary was able to capitalize. Connor Unger, he got the start for Edmonton. He's a goaltender that I'm really looking forward to that might be able to push or be a call-up option for Edmonton at some point this season. Early chance for Calgary was stopped by Unger. Warner with a bomb that got stopped. Good push by Edmonton early in the first period. Bell and Clattenburg with a very spirited fight. Uh, Clattenburg for the Oilers, Bell for the Flames. I thought it was a really good fight. I'm going to give it a tie, maybe a slight edge to Clattenburg just for getting a few punches towards the end there. Savoy centers to Berglund, who then buries it to make it one nothing Edmonton and uh, that's Carl Berglund's first of the Young Stars tournament Savoy's first point he caused a turnover and he fed Berglund in front O'Reilly also had an assist on that goal and I thought Sam O'Reilly also had a much better game tonight as well then uh, there was a penalty to Davidson so Calgary got themselves a power play Basha then scores for the Calgary Flames off a wonderful cross crease one timer tie game one uh, one power play goal Wakely misses just wide on a breakaway for Edmonton fed by Petrov. Then Sam O'Reilly, he was stopped on a feed by Savoy, who takes uh, or who looks much better so far. A lot of pace and speed, good puck movement for at least the Oilers' top line up to this point in the game. And then Sam Morton scored on a rush up the ice for the Flames to make it 2-1. to one. Morton was my player to watch for the Calgary Flames tonight. If you watched my pregame report, if you didn't, I'll leave the link to it in the description. You can check it out. Uh, Sam Morton was my player to watch for the Calgary Flames. He is a very underrated player. He's considered a veteran in that lineup. He wears the C for the, uh, these young stars for the Calgary Flames, and I thought he had a really good game. He makes it 2-1. Flames then stopped by Unger on a breakaway, and then the Flames had a ton of pressure. Warner uh, was really struggling out there. I thought Max Warner played really, really good against Vancouver, but I thought he took a pretty big step back tonight. Maybe that's the fatigue factor playing on back-to-back -back nights. Savoy had a good shot that was saved late, and then DeYoung hit the bar. I thought that puck went in. It was a great setup by Savoy. I thought the puck was in the net. They don't do the, the video replays in the Young Stars tournament. I'd love to see another angle compared to the one that they showed on the Calgary Flames broadcast. And then there was a backdoor play that just missed for Calgary. Basho, very noticeable for Calgary. Uh, great lay shift by the DeJong line for Edmonton. The Oilers then drew a late power play with 33 seconds left. At the end of the first, 2-1 Flames. Shots were 10-8 Flames. And power plays, 1-for-1 one one were Calgary on their power play. I thought the Oilers were shaky at times on D, but they were getting some looks, and Savoy was looking really good in that first period. Moving on to the second period, Oilers had a minute and 27 of power play to start. Power play goes nowhere, though. 0 for 1 up to this point. Some back and forth action early. Then LeJoy heads to the box. Power play for the Flames. And Mark LeJoy, uh, he did play for the Oil Kings last year. He led the team in goals with 26. He was an overager on that Oil Kings team. He's 21 now. He hasn't looked great. He has really good foot speed, and he has good offensive instincts, but I don't think he's looked very good in the Young Stars tournament. I'd be curious to see if he sticks around after the Young Stars tournament or if he'll eventually get to join the main camp once the NHL main camp gets going. He's an interesting player. I think there's something there, but he's not showing what I thought he would show up to this point. 
Uh, there was good movement by the Flames, but not a lot of shots on their power play. Unger had a couple good saves. Then LaJoy out of the box had a good chance that was stopped. Roy was then stopped on a one-timer for Edmonton. The Oilers were hacking and whacking, but they just couldn't bury it. They couldn't get it by Calgary's goaltender. Calgary ices it after a ton of pressure from the Oilers. And then after that, they come up the ice and they hit the goal post. Uh, Grube with a good shot that was stopped from Edmonton. There was some rough stuff after the whistle. Oilers with better uh, skating legs tonight, but they still weren't getting sustained pressure. Like I mentioned, I thought the Oilers were attacking off the rush a lot better, but they weren't really able to sustain a lot of zone time. They had a couple shifts there where they did have the Flames hemmed in, but they weren't getting those grade A looks that I think they were hoping for. Misa then gets robbed by Ungar in close. Flames were putting together some good shifts after the Oilers had good shifts, so it was a very ebbs and flows type game tonight. Uh, it was a much better flowed game compared to that Canucks game. I thought the Oilers yesterday, you could really tell that it was the first time these players had played together. Tonight, there was a bit more structure in the game, which was good to see. It's unfortunate that the offense couldn't come through, though. Savoy had a good look from Sam O'Reilly. Power play doesn't get set up, though. They had a power play with 343 to play. They finished 0 for 2 up to this point. O'Reilly then with a terrific back check to break up a 2 on 1. Uh, at end of 2, 2-1 two flames. Shots were 15-14 flames. Power play, Oilers are for two Calgary one for two Sam O'Reilly's two-way game was as advertised tonight I thought Sam O'Reilly played a terrific two-way game that's kind of what he's known for in junior with the London Knights it's one of the reasons why the Oilers drafted him they really liked his two-way game they really hope that he'll pan out to be a second or third line center in the future for the team and then Sam Morton, I thought, was the best player for Calgary up to this point as well. Heading to the third, Oilers just down by one. You just need one of these pucks to go in. We'll see if it happens. Of course, we already know it did not. LaJoy with a shot that almost banks in. Oilers then had an early power play with 16.34 to play. They needed to convert, and they did not. However, Petrov, he did get a good one-timer look, but the shot did go wide. The Oilers couldn't get one. They were 0 for 3 on the power play. And then Corbet and Siona dropped the gloves. That is fights in consecutive nights for Corbet for Edmonton who I thought was very, very quiet on D for Edmonton tonight, and I thought he was quiet yesterday. So that's fights in two consecutive nights. This is an old-school mentality. When you're a camp invite, uh, sometimes to get noticed, players will drop the gloves. Do I completely agree with it? No, but that's a lot of heart from Corbet, and you know what? You got to give it to him. I don't think he's going to be making it to the NHL training camp, but you know, there's a lot of heart there, and that's good to see. Then there was some good neutral zone play for the Oilers in the third period. Puck was bouncing around the Flames' crease. The Oilers could not cash in. Then the Oilers take a penalty. Too many men. Flames power play with 10.36 left. Savoy sets up O'Reilly, who shoots it wide. Misa then has a good chance, but Unger makes a great save. A Gruby was stopped on a shorthanded rush. Penalty killed. Two for three on the night up to this point. DeJong then had a good shot. I thought DeJong had a pretty good game, although you would expect DeJong to be able to step up in this situation. I think he was born in 1999. He might have been one of the oldest players in this entire tournament this year. Oilers had another penalty with 357 remaining. Savoy was shorthanded. He had a chance that was saved. Unger then with a good save right at the end of the power play. Um, three for four on the penalty kill for the Oilers tonight. They pull the net with a minute 30 and then Inadju, Inadju sorry if I'm mispronouncing that Flames fans, the, the Flames goaltender Inadju tries for the empty net. It was fun to see. I would have loved to see a goalie goal. That would have been awesome. Uh, and then Misa does put it into the empty net right at the end of regulation to make it 3-1 Flames. Bad giveaway by Petrov, who couldn't connect with the one-timer. Final score, 3-1 Calgary. We'll take a look at some of the numbers here. My three stars of the game was Luke Misa, first star. Second star, I gave to Sam Morton. Third star, I gave to Matt Savoy of the Edmonton Oilers. Like I said, I thought Savoy had a much better game tonight for Edmonton. This bodes well heading into main training camp. Hopefully he can show something if he does play in that third game on Monday, which is at 12 p.m. Mountain against the Jets. If not, uh, Matt Savoy will will be with the main NHL training camp, uh, I think Wednesday coming up here. So we'll see how he looks in main camp with the big boys. Against the Flames tonight, Edmonton had 25 shots, one goal, 0 for 3 on the power play, 3 for 4 on the penalty kill. And I thought the notable players for Edmonton tonight, Matt Savoy, Sam O'Reilly, and Connor Unger. And then for the Calgary Flames, three goals on 21 shots, power play 1 for 4, penalty kill 3 for 3. Notable players for me were Sam Morton, Andrew Basha, Zane Perrick, and of course Luke Misa, who was the first star. I thought Zane Perrick on D had a very quietly good night for the Calgary Flames. I think Zane Perrick, uh, he 
he's tracking really well right now as just an outsider. I think that's a really good uh, draft pick by the Flames, and hopefully he continues to build off the game that he had tonight. He was terrific, in my opinion. Flames fans, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and Oilers fans, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in to the post-game recap. I love that there's hockey again, and I can't wait for main camp to get going here later this week for the Oilers and get NHL games going. Until then, the Oilers do have one more Young Stars game that is on Monday at 12 p.m. Mountain. I will have a pregame report up on Monday, and of course, I will do a post-game recap. So I will see you all there. Make sure you like today's video. Make sure you hit subscribe if you are not yet subscribed, and uh, tell someone that you love them, and always fight like a kid, fight like Ben. We'll see you soon, Oil Country. Thanks for watching.